Hi everyone, happy new release day. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a little 2021 Bowman Chrome Baseball 12 box hobby edition. Pick your team number one. All card ship, and I think two autographs, yeah, two autographs per master box. Um, and it's Bowman, folks, we're prospect hunting. I don't know what's gonna happen with any of these players, right? But we collect them and we wait to see if they become perennial all-stars, if they become superstars. That's why we love, um, that's why we love Bowman. This is a great opportunity to hunt for prospects. Big thanks to everybody here for getting in on the action. AR, last spot mojo, good luck to him, good luck to everybody. Let's pick your team one. We also have, this is the hobby edition, we also have the choice edition as well, which is only three autos a box, it's only autos. CR, what's going on? A super fractor in the first case, TJ? I would love that. That would be a great way to start the day. All right, here we go. There's the box. Two autographs per master box, plus Parallel hunting, there's Cabrian Hayes, there's Austin Martin. And let's see what we got. Good luck, everyone. Machado had a huge night last night, but they did not win. Giants won. Dodgers lost. Bummer. No, actually, sorry. Dodgers won by a run last night. That's right. Vessia had to save. Padres couldn't hang on to win. Machado actually almost had a third home run last night. Padres killing me. Well, now let's see if we can do it again. If Dodgers, Walker Bueller on the mound in Colorado. They can take care of business against the Rockies. And if the Padres, who am I? I'm relying on Vince Velasquez for the Padres to three and seven. Vince Velasquez with a 6.09 ERA. Ooh. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Anything can happen in baseball. There's Nolan Gorman, summer camp insert. Robert Hassel. And our first autograph is a Cub. Yo Wendrick. Uh, Pinango. Nice Bowman first autograph for Chris and the Cubs. There you go, lefty right here, number 25, Cubs prospect. Cubs actually have a lot of autos in this. They've got a pretty big checklist if you take a look at cardboardconnection.com or, or uh, groupbreakchecklist.com. There's Blaze Jordan, 80 out of 99. Boston Red Sox, Burke. There you go, Burke. Some little color for Blaze Jordan. And all card ship, ladies and gentlemen. So in case there's like a, I don't think I'll be missing any parallels, but in case I do, in case I miss one, don't worry. There's Victor Acosta. Shimmer for the Padres. That'll be for Chris. 
And our second autograph is Pablo Abreu for Tomoya and the Brew Crew. And that is number 33 prospect in the Brewer system, according to Fangraphs. Pretty young kid right there, so a lot, a lot of growth there. This is the fun thing about Bowman is you get to start familiarizing yourself with some of the some of these prospects, and we'll see see what they be what they can become. There's Miguel Amaya to 4.99. And we'll do a quick autograph recap at the end of this break too. What's happening with any? I thought there was an early game today. Oh, I think White Sox Tigers were rained out. Looks like Pirates at Reds are rained out. So a little bit of rain outs happening around the league. Sean Edwards, have we pulled any monsters yet? No. I mean, I don't know. Yes, Sean Edwards. Future Hall of Famers right here. No, we just we're just in our this is the second or we just only completed our first box, so nothing monstrous yet. But again, this is Bowman, so it's prospect hunting. We won't really know if they're monsters until until they start their careers, I guess. They're they're only in the minors at this point. Yeah, I saw Ohtani, that Hotani home run last night. That was, that was a monster. Well, the MVP is obviously Ohtani, right? How many uh, how many strikeouts has Vladimir Guerrero Jr. thrown this year? How many how many wins does he have as a pitcher? Yeah, how how many steals does Vlad Jr. have? How many innings has Vlad Jr. pitched? How many wins? How many strikeouts has he thrown? Christian Hernandez, I think, is also one one of the bigger names for the Cubs as well. There's 40 man futures. Jeremy De La Rosa Atomic to 150. That's for Arthur Sears and the Nationals. And there's Baron Radcliffe. Bowman first autograph for Austin and the Phillies. There's Joey Bart, Bowman Ascensions. I think this is a short print. We were researching this last night. Let me just pull up CardboardConnection.com really quick. Going back to Otani, I think this is the best year for him to win the MVP. He, he probably will win the MVP. I think he's odds-on favorite to win the MVP. But he should. He, and he's one of those players where it's going to be like... Yeah, those Bowman Ascensions are one per hobby case, according to CardboardConnection.com. So there you go, Joey Bart for my rivals, the Giants. David for the Giants. There you go, David. But Otani might be one of those players. It's like it's like guys like LeBron or Kobe Bryant back, and they they could win the MVP every year. But you know the reality is is that they don't. They should, they could, but they don't. But I think Otani might be that kind of player simply because he can hit and he can pitch. But I, you know, baseball writers aren't going to give it to him every year, though, because eventually a different storyline. Like Trout could win it every year, but he doesn't, right? There's Christian Robinson, purple shimmer to two fifty. So I think it's gonna. I think, but this might be a special year for Otani, just for him to get the MVP.
There's Eduardo Garcia for the Brewers. That's going to be Tomoya. Joey, way better than Will Smith. He's rated. He was rated higher than Will Smith, but at the moment, Will Smith is one of the better hitting catchers in Major League Baseball. So Joey Bart has a long way to go before he, before he's lucky enough to be a Will Smith. There's Heston Kirkstad to 299. Speckle. Giant, Giants would be. That's for the Orioles, by the way. That's for Donald. Giants would would love it if Joey Bart was even half of Will Smith. You know his cards will skyrocket if what? Vlad, who, if who gets the MVP? I don't think the MVP is gonna, I don't think it's gonna do too much um, value wise because I think both both Vlad Jr. and Otani have been having such great seasons, their cards have been steadily going up. I think people have assumed that those, those are gonna be the MVP. Those two are gonna be, one of those two are gonna be the MVP. So I think the market has already accounted for that. I think officially winning it, it's not going to make too much of a difference. It'll help, though. I mean, to, to, to have that hardware. Al's thinking, you don't know how much higher that they can go this early in their uh, MLB career. Yeah. It, I mean, Otani's actually kind of young. Remember, most, most of those Asian players are arriving in, in the majors in their like late 20s because they have to, I think they make more money that way because they have to stay in, in their Korean or Japanese leagues for X amount of time before they can post to the majors and there's a big bidding war and blah, 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 blah. And then you're eligible for all this money. And the teams are eligible, the, the Asian teams are eligible for money too. So there's a chance that Otani could get, <laughs> scary as it might sound, to get even better. Health permitting, but in the off season, the whole, the big story for him in the off season was, um, was he had reconstructed his his body pretty much, to to battle the rigors of of the uh, of the longer MLB season. There's Pedro Leon for the Astros, and it's shown. And there's Chi Jung Lu. Bowman first for Burt and the Red Sox. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to, you know, if you asked me at the beginning of the season, Neptune, if you said the, if you said the, the Dodgers would be a game back of the Giants, I wouldn't have believed you, but here we are. There's Francisco Alvarez, purple chrome to 250. With Otani and Trout staying healthy, then the Angels would be a championship contender. No, <laughs> they won't because Mike Trout also does not pitch. Their offense is is is, is fine. Their pitching is a, is a is a mess. Sean Edwards. There's C.J. Abrams to 50. That'll be for the Padres. That's for Chris. If they get their pitching together, yeah, they, they, I mean, they could do some damage in the postseason, but it's not about Otani and Trout staying healthy. It's about their pitching staff being able to, <laughs> to be effective. 26 out of 150, there's Tanner Hawk. Blue parallel for Burke and the Red Sox. First rounder. Luis Rodriguez, I think, for my Dodgers, another one of the bigger names that you're going to see, hopefully. For the Dodgers, one of their up-and-coming prospects, they got a lot. Ryan Mountcastle is having a great season. Bryce Harper, could he make a, could he make a, make a late run for NL MVP? There he is, 158 out of 250, Bryce Harper, Phillies, Austin.
Yeah, so far so good for the Red Sox. We still have, I mean, we're only three boxes in, but so far so good. We still have a lot more to go. Tatis has it on lock? Maybe. But, but if you, at least according to Vegas, the market has, has, has moved towards, uh, the market has moved towards Bryce Harper for whatever that's worth. And I think baseball writers also like a narrative, right? So, if, so uh, you know, if one of those, if I don't know, I mean, do the Phillies have a chance at the playoffs? Yeah, what if Bryce Harper hits his way into, into a wild card spot? That's going to be tough, actually. They're four and a half back. Cardinals have won 10 in a row? Jeez. Baseball riders are the worst. Yeah, they can make some pretty bad, pretty bad decisions, voting wise. There's George Felice Bowman first autograph for the M's. Mark Bissett with the Mariners. What's that? Okay, nice. I'll move it. Move my car. All right, Jesus Sanchez, pink, to two ninety nine. That's for the fish. That will be for Joe Parisi. An all card ship, so you'll be getting everything you see here. There's Alexander Ramirez, shimmer. Remember that hot start Yerman Mercedes had? And there's uh, Oslevis Basabe. Bowman first blue for the Rangers. That's going to go to Patrick Davis. Number 19, Rangers prospect. Went 49 for 151 in the Arizona Fall League. Second on the team with triples. Rangers have a lot of youngsters coming up the ranks. It could be interesting to see what they'll look like in a, in a few seasons. There is to 75, 2 out of 75, Jefferson Cuero. I think I read somewhere that because of the printing, because of a, due to a printing issue, that the orange and the yellow parallels look very similar. It almost looks orange to you, right? But it obviously the oranges are out of 25, and the yellows, I believe, are out of 75. Shailen Polanco, he's another pirate prospect, Chad. Number eight prospect in the international class. Signed earlier this year, January 2021. All right. Third of the way through the break. We got more in the store, folks. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. And we also have the HTA Choice Edition, which is only autographs. Each box has three autos. And I think there's five teams left in the next, in the next hobby break, if you want to run this back. Nothing sold out after this. And there's now seven left in HTA Choice. That's a full case break as well.
How do I feel about Topps losing baseball? It's a bummer. That's for sure. They've been around for so long. But I think the the, the industry speculation is that is that Fanatics will probably end up buying Topps and then um, and then let them keep doing Bowman Chrome. So like my guess is it would be like be like Bowman Chrome and it'd be like a Fanatics company or something like that on the box. And there is uh, Braden Shoemake to 150. And there's Aldo Ramirez. For the Red Sox, Burke. I mean, I'm not... I'm not super concerned. I mean, it, it, the only concern is just, it's just how the the actual mechanics of it, the specifics of it, will work out. Who are we buying from? What kind of product are we getting? Blah 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 blah. There's Manuel Beltre to 199 for the Blue Jays. That'll be for Toronto, Nick. But fanatics, you know. They've been in the sports industry for a minute or two. They feel I feel like they know what they're doing. The hobby has exploded. I don't think they want to. They don't want to kill the golden goose. <laughs> so, forty-one out of two fifty purple shimmer. Nice Wilman Diaz, another pro good prospect for the Dodgers. Mark. So if they do what's best for them, right, which is be a for-profit company, will probably be means that it will be good quality stuff for us and for the collector. Everybody wins. There's Tyler Keenan, Bowman first autograph. Mariners. Mark Bissett. Christian Javier, 49 out of 250. Andrew with the Astros. This could be a future top of the rotation guy. All right, next box. David's having audio, is anyone having audio trouble? Is my mic working okay? Do I have a second microphone on? If I did, someone would have. That would have been instantly noticeable. Anyone having audio issues? Check one, check two, mic check, mic check. Yeah, but the 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 broad. Uh, You know, the broad speculation is that Fanatics will end up buying out some companies and like Tops or maybe even Upper Deck. Dave, Dave's good. Ooh, there's a relic. Bradley, what's up? Who's the top player? He's yelling here. Who's the top player we are looking for? A lot of players that we, that we can look for here. Astros have a couple of great prospects. Carlos's brother, JC Correa, Pedro Leon. A's have Pedro Pineda. Cubs have a ton of ton of players. Christian Hernandez is one of those guys you want to look for. Luis Rodriguez and Willem Diaz for the Dodgers. So on and so forth. It's hard to really identify top players in, in Bowman right now because Bowman is such a prospect-heavy product. This is just, we're future star hunting here. This is for, this is for future value. Um, rather than, it's more about future value rather than current value. There's uh, Alexander Mojica, 49 out of 99, green shimmer. <laughs> no worries, Brad. 
But yeah, that's always that's always the challenge with 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 Bowman products from year to year. There's Jose Baez to 100, but for the people that are the people that are that really know their their baseball prospects, this is a really popular product every year. I mean, pre, look at the pre-orders. Pre-orders went fast. Uh, Jose Baez is going to be for the tribe. That's for Alan. And people pick up this stuff really fast. 97 out of 150. Summer Camp, Max Meyer. Jose Parisi. Joe Parisi with that. Think about Jose Baez. And all card chip in this, ladies and just a reminder, all card chip, so if there's any significant Bowman firsts or maybe even parallels that I may have accidentally missed, don't worry. Everything will be shipping to you. Okay, David Rodriguez is good. Reset the computer. Audio is fine. There's Luis Rodriguez. And the relic is Tiara Estrada. Flashbacks relic. It's a pretty thick card stock right here. 180 maybe? There it is. Uh, Yankees relic going to Donald. Picked up the Bronx Bombers. There's Jorge Soler and an autograph. Jorge Soler refractor to 499 Royals Brandon, and the auto is Malfrine Sosa for the Twins. And him along with Micelle Urbina are guys to look out for for the Twins. All right, next. Is this Rays Blue Jays game? Is this a live game here? It has to be. Right. Yeah, it is. All right, next box. Blue Jays playing some good baseball. They've won seven out of their last ten. They're a half game ahead of the Yankees for a wild card spot. Behind them, A's and Mariners. Three, both three games back of a wild card spot. They're gonna have to leapfrog a team or two, which is always a challenge. But they're, they're in the hunt. They're still in it. Out in the NL, Cardinals on a 10-game winning streak. They're four games ahead of the Reds, who have only won three in their last 10. So, so St. Louis has taken the edge there over the uh, the Reds. They're four games ahead of the Reds, four and a half ahead of the Phillies, five ahead of the, the Padres, who have lost four in a row. Um, I think they're still mathematically in it, but they'd have to go on a run. There's only like 12 days left in the season. The Dodgers are a single game back behind the Giants. The Dodgers don't want to play that one game playoff. They're, nobody wants to play that one game playoff, I guess, but. Let's see if the Dodgers can overtake him in the last week or so of the season. There's Wander Franco. 006 out of 250. Purple Shimmer for the Rays. Burke. Burke Thomas with the Rays. Wander Franco playing some solid baseball. It's only going to get better. We might see. Is he playing today? We might see an at bat from him while we're. Uh, There's Luis Mieses, White Sox, Bowman first autograph, Joe Christian with the Southsiders. I 
I don't think Franco is playing today. No, he's not. We got Tristan Houses to 499. Tristan Casas for Burke Thomas and the Red Sox. Nice refractor. There's Wander again. Oh, is Wander on the IL? Oh, he was hitting well before that. He was on a really hefty bases reach streak, wasn't he, Ben? 271 out of 299. Jesus Sanchez for the fish. Joe Parisi and the Marlins. Matt Scheffler. Bowman first autograph for the Mariners. Mark with the M's. Tampa better start winning. Red Sox three-game series sweep could make it interesting. How many games back are they? I thought... I thought the Rays were cruising. Oh no, they're they're six games. Yeah, I guess a sweep would make it interesting. They're six games ahead of the Red Sox. There's Carlos Colmenares to one twenty five. Right, so a three game series would be interesting. If they sweep. Yeah, that's right, Ben. Wander, Wander was on like a 35-game bases reach streak. Which is pretty incredible. Seems like the White Sox are cruising. They're ten and a half games ahead of Cleveland. I wonder. Astros are eight games ahead of the, the, the Oakland A's. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? If teams are are that comfortably ahead. I suppose they could set the rotation, they can rest some guys, but do you lose a little bit of edge? Do you get a little soft? You know, do you do you lose a little bit of that competitive juice? Because you're just cruising? What do you think? Does that help or hurt a team like the White Sox, who are 10 and a half games ahead of Cleveland? Does that help Milwaukee? They're nine and a half games ahead of St. Louis. What's up, Oliver? Happy Bowman Chrome Day. We're like, uh, we're like the 49ers in the mid-1800s in California. We're prospecting here. We're buying plots of land. We're getting our, uh, getting, we're panning for gold, getting our sluices ready. There's Armando Cruz, Shimmer. Yeah, maybe it doesn't matter. I mean, the Dodgers have had comfortable uh, division wins too. They still seem pretty sharp for the playoffs. Who's hurt, Steve Birch? There's Gabriel Myciel. Uh, I'm going to go with Myciel to 499. Refractor autograph for the Twins. Big bold autograph for Coppola and the Twins. The other, there was another twin back there too, Coppola. We've got Jesus Sanchez to 250. That'll be for Joe. And the Marlins. Ooh, a redemption coming up. Any guesses on that redemption? And there's Shailen Polanco, Speckle parallel to 299. Oh, 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 I'm, Steve's saying big leads do hurt team, teams. And, I, I got you, I got you. <laughs> if, if there's LaMelo in here, there'd be, there'd be a lot of explaining to do. All right. Bowman Chrome Prospect Refractor Parallels. That's to 499. We'll have the team name here too. S, San Diego, San Francisco. 
St. Louis, St. Louis Cardinals, Malcolm Nunez. That's going to be for Joe M. We've got a couple different, three different Joes here. We've got a Joe C, a Joe P, and a Joe M. And a Joe Jaspi right here. This one's going to Joe M. Bought the St. Louis Cardinals straight up. Thank you, Joe. All right, four more boxes to go, boys and girls. About another 15, 20 minutes in this break. I think with the uh, with the Dodgers example, Oliver, maybe the Dodgers have been winning the division for so long by so much that they're 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 mentally prepared for it. You know, have teams. I mean, I don't know. Have White Sox. When's the last time they led the division by ten and a half games going to the playoffs? A little little inexperience there, but I guess Lou Russo would have them. Should have them sharp. eventually they're they're at 85 wins they'll probably have about you would think they'd have about 90 by the time all said and done probably win a handful more games get to 90 it's a pretty solid season i remember whenever when tony la Russa was hired everyone was like tony la Russa, what's this old guy doing with a young team how's he gonna get through to him i think i even said that too and i was like just didn't seem like a seemed like an inch like a weird fit but <laughs> results turned out okay. For now, let's see what happens in the pressure under the pressure of the playoffs. There's Luis Garcia for Arthur Sears, pink to two ninety nine. It's kind of weird the the parallels are turned around, but the autographs are not. And there's Viandel Pena, 48 out of 99. There you go, Arthur Sears, Nationals. It's Bowman first. Now Arthur was like, I bought the Nats. I was just prospecting. I bought the Nats without even really even knowing what, what to look for. But here is your number 20 prospect in the Gulf Coast League. Won the circuit's batting title. So there you go, multi-tool player. Helps the team in multiple ways. Quick stroke, smart base runner, experience at three infield positions. Signed at 16. Grew up in the same hometown as Jenry Mejia and Jose Mesa. So nice green parallel. There's Yachty. 499. He's got one more season. Last year, next year will be his farewell tour. Wilman Diaz, there's one of his, let's see if we can find parallels here, but there's a Bowman first right there, big Dodgers prospect. Nick Lodolo, Shimmer. And there's Christian Santana. I think that's one of the bigger names here. Yeah, for the Tigers. Bowman first, Detroit Tigers. That's going to be Mark Bissett with Detroit. Number six prospect in the international class corner baseball America. Checks in number seven, top rated shortstop, number 14 overall on the MLB.com prospect list. Nice. Tigers definitely have some, some youngsters coming up the ranks that could make that team really good in a few years. There's Shane Bieber. Blue to 150. For Cleveland, that's going to be for Allen. Next box. Yeah, Oliver's saying, he's like, I don't see how it hurts having too much of a lead. You get healthy, still getting your ABs. You set the rotation. Yeah, I guess I was just speculating on like if there was any... I guess it dep I guess it's maybe depends on team, team chemistry, leadership. But like if you maybe lose a little bit of competitive juice... Q Rome, any more six blocks off to basketball? No. Not at the moment, but keep checking back on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll probably get some more. All 
All right, just to f those two boxes and this box right here. Good luck, everybody. We're almost there. Yeah, so these hobby breaks are a little bit longer. But um, those HTA choice breaks are only three autos a box. So that break is actually quite quick. Yeah, all we're saying, if you got a vet club, manager should be fine. The White Sox don't, though. They got a vet manager. They got a couple vet players. They got a lot of youngsters on that team, too. Mostly youngsters, I would say. Right, yeah, hot wild card club like the Cardinals. I don't know if the Dodgers want to play the Cardinals in a one game playoff. All right. There's one, then. Bowman first autograph for Mark and the Mariners. Steve's saying it, I think it hurts resting players too much. I'm all for setting up the rotation, though. There's Christian Santana, Bowman first, and then Andrew Vaughn, 36 out of 99, another White Sox youngster that a lot of people are really high on. White Sox, Joe C. with Chicago. And, oh, Fr Fran Yell, you got to work on that auto, buddy. We gotta send him to Jaspie's autograph camp. Yeah. Franiel Baez, Bowman first autograph for the Diamondbacks. TJ with the Snakes. Could make his professional debut this year. There's a prospect of note by Fangrass. Dangerous switch hitter, dangerous hitter from both sides of the plate. 6-3. Yeah, one of Sean's favorites, Andrew Vaughn. There's Wander Franco, Shimmer. Yeah, I guess there could be a Scherzer Wainwright potential in that one game wild card. I'm not looking forward to that. I think Wainwright had a really nice game against the Dodgers last time they met. There's Julio Carreras. 141 out of 299 for the Rocks. Nice speckle autograph for Giuseppe and the Rockies. And a Luis Robert, purple to 250. That's for the white. I guess the, if the parallels are upside down, that makes it interesting because we won't see a super fractor coming up. It'd be it'd be a surprise as soon as I flip that card around. All right, two more boxes to go. Almost there. This is Hobby Break number one, Pick Your Team number one, brand new release, Bowman Chrome Baseball, just dropped today. Uh, we've got more opportunities. We should, should be a pretty big Bowman Chrome day today. So we've got more opportunities if you want to get into it. We've got five teams left in Bowman Chrome Hobby, Pick Your Team two. So if you want to grab some teams, we could run this back pretty quickly. If you want to go with the HTA Choice Edition, which is a considerably shorter break, seven teams left on that. I think there's a lot of teams. If you just kind of want to mess around a little bit and have fun prospecting, there are some inexpensive teams still remaining too. I think the in Hobby Case 2, Diamondbacks are only $39.99. Indians are only $49.99. Uh, Royals are only $59.99. I think for the Royals, you might have a chance at stumbling into some Ace of Laces as well. For Bowman Chrome HTA Choice, pick your team number one. Uh, Diamondbacks, and, and HTA Choice is just all autograph. It's three autos a box. 
So 36 autos total. And that'll be... Oh, yeah, why did the Braves end up back there? Sorry, I, I got to fix that right now before someone accidentally purchases those. Braves and HTA... HTA is an, an all-auto product, and Braves do not have autographs in... Um, in HTA, so we accidentally sold them, we refunded them, and I don't know why they were restocked. Let me take the uh, take the Braves out before someone accidentally buys them. Thanks, TJ, again. All right, so good news. HTA choice number one is down to six. Diamondbacks forty two ninety nine. The Tribe, the Mets, the Phillies are, are all fifty four ninety nine. Rangers are sixty two ninety nine, and the uh, Nationals one hundred four ninety nine. That's not bad. It's more more of a mid range team right there. Rangers and Nationals for the medium rollers. And uh, lower rollers can can go for the Diamondback forty two ninety nine, Indians, Mets, Phillies fifty four ninety nine each. And let me uh, drop the uh, checklist into the chat if you want to do your own research on what players and prospects you want to chase. This is all prospect hunting, ladies and gentlemen. So a lot of potential future value for a lot of these players. That's what we're chasing. And Pedro Leon is one of those Astros that could have a lot of future value. Pink Shimmer to 199. Rated as the number one prospect in the international class by Baseball America. Number seven overall on MLB.com. So that's one of the reasons why the Astros are an interesting team to pick up. There he is again. And there's Malfreen Sosa. 424 out of 499 refractor autograph for the Twinkies. That's going to be for Coppola and the Twins. One of the top power hitters. And there's Jaron Duran Duran to 250, purple chrome. Burke with the Red Sox. Dur Jaron Duran, Tristan Casas, Bobby Dalbeck. That's a that's an interesting trio for the for the Red Sox. There's there's Tristan Casas right there. And you got Taylor Trammell to four ninety nine. 90 out of 499 refractor for Mark Bissett and the M's. And there's Angel Rondon for Joe M and the Redbirds. We got a refractor of Alexander Vizcaino to 499 for Donald and the Yankees. And the final box coming up. Thanks everyone for getting in on the action. I appreciate it. Like I said, plenty more in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com, and we'll be breaking all afternoon, all evening, and into the late night. So buy your teams early and often because we will have plenty of time for group breaks all day long. At Jaspi's Breaks on, uh, on Instagram Live as well, personal boxes. At Jaspi's Breaks on Twitter if you want to follow us there. You may as well sub sub uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I think we're at... I think we can hit 13,000 subscribers on YouTube fairly soon. I don't know. That helps the algorithm if you want to help us out. Otherwise, hey, just place orders. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. That's a good metric as well. 
So thank you, everybody. Final box. Jazbeescasebreaks.com. No train whistle yet. I think the out of fives and under are going to be a little bit harder in sets like this. But let's keep selling out breaks. Let's keep searching for our first train whistle. Could be in this box. There's Heston Kirkstad, Shimmer. For the O's, that's going to be for Donald. And we got Rafael Morel. Chris with the Cubbies. And we've got... Ooh, a Bowman Ascensions Orange, 8 out of 25. Now, according to CardboardConnection.com, these are only supposed to be one per case. We already found one earlier. But here's a second one and a parallel. Joe with the Cardinals. Yeah, Dylan Carlson could be, could be a future star. Logan Gilbert to 199. Mark with the Mariners. And Kyle Hurt is our final autograph. Joe P with the fish. Got a parallel here, Jordan Alvarez to 250, 131 out of 250 for the Strohs. Andrew. And what else do we have here? I think that is it. And there's Pedro Leon at the end. All card ship, ladies and gentlemen. So get into it on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Here's a quick, uh, do a quick recap, autograph recap. Any, I guess, low number parallels that we may have found, like uh, like that Dylan Carlson. Which is pretty nice. A lot of nice color here as well in the autographs, which is always it's always nice to see. Atomic. Got some blue here, more blue. There's the other Ascensions insert. And there you have it. That was 2021, brand new. 2021, just dropped today. Bowman Chrome Baseball, 12 box. Hobby case, pick your team number one. We got plenty more in the store on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Go and get it, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye bye.